Peace and blessings, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. So yes, I'm coming to you again. Like I'm, I'm feeling it, y'all. And when I'm feeling it, I have to come. So you know what? Earlier today, I thought I was making a video for this channel, Afrocentric home decor, and I was talking about how to create an Afrocentric coffee table. So if you want to see that video, I got cut off because my Wi-Fi was acting strangely. But the good part is, I called the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, company and hopefully we are all set and I won't get cut off because I uh, hopefully we rectify that situation but so if you want to know about and I'll do a part two because I got cut off if you want to know about how to create specifically what I do to create an Afrocentric coffee table and the elements I'll let you we'll, we'll do another video just matter of fact let me know in the comment section if you were watching that video earlier and it got cut off and you wanted me to continue for those that didn't see it, go to my Blackberry Beauty Academy YouTube channel to see it's the latest video about how to create an Afrocentric, um, how to create an Afrocentric coffee table. Okay, ladies. So, but right now I want to talk about the importance of fresh flowers in your decor. So, yes, if you are excited about this, make sure you thumbs up the video, like which is liking the video, share the video as well, subscribe to the channel, and, and definitely I love your comments. So, ladies, leave the comments. And if, you, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What I do is I allow you to leave the comments. Now I go through my thing around the house and showing you stuff, and then I answer all of the comments that are there. So let's talk about this idea of the idea of fresh flowers to your decor, to your Afrocentric decor. I mean, when I think of Afrocentric decor, I do think of life. That's why I like wood elements. That's why I like plant elements. That's why I like the cotton and the, the natural uh, branches that it grows. But nothing pulls it all together, in my opinion, than flowers. And so I am going to show you flowers around my home and how I actually are going to actually going to get more some other places where flowers will always be. When I had my apartment before I got married, there was always lots of flowers. And actually even the one before that was always lots of flowers. I probably had I didn't I, I didn't start getting into having lots of plants until I got married and my husband at the time Excuse me, he loved plants and he had such a green thumb. I was like, I think I can do this. And because I grew up with a lot of plants with my mom and it worked out. So here on the coffee table, I have tulips. I paid, I'll give you prices that I pay. I paid $8.99 exactly, so $9 for these beautiful tulips. What will happen with tulips, and just so you know, they will open and they will start to kind of hang over. Just check out my last couple of videos and you'll see my orange tulips. And that's part of the beauty as well. So I used to before when I got tulips, I was like, why are they hanging? What can I do to keep them up? And in actuality, the, the, the drooping of them is also very beautiful. I love tulips. It's a beautiful flower. I tend to buy flowers that are already in season. So that's like the easiest thing. When I go to the store and I'm looking for flowers, I buy what I see. Okay, there we go. So this is, the, I bought two bunches for the living room. Remember, I have this. We got some sun coming through, ladies. So the, remember, I had this little uh, vignette, flowers, and then also the yellow flowers here. Let me tell you today. I wanted to add to the flower collection. The one thing that I did not do and I forgot and I'll go back tomorrow is I, I, I'm so kind of obsessed <laughs> with keeping the countertops totally clear that I forgot that actually flowers would be so wonderful for this area. So I didn't get the flowers for here yet, but I'll go back tomorrow to get those. I'm just going to show you flowers around the house. Even the poinsettia to me is actually kind of a flowering plant. So I think that counts as flowers. So during the Christmas season, getting your poinsettia can be actually great. But once I do this room, we're not going to look at it too hard. There will be, there'll probably be, once I have my coffee table, my, um, what's the other thing y'all want? The love sea, the cheers, and the different end tables. You will definitely see flowers, plants up there, flowers. But that room is not ready, and I'm not going to look at that yet. So today, let me tell you my two new additions. So I'm going to talk today about flowers, also scents, because scents are everything to me. So I decided I was going to go and say, oh, I'm going to go and get some more tulips. And I was like, nah, I went in the store and they had roses. So the tulips are $8.99, $9, but the roses a dozen 
was $10.99, $11. So for two more dollars, we can have roses. Let me tell you what I love about the roses, and I'll show you. I love that as they're dying, if you just keep them really to me, there's other ways to dry them, but if you just keep them in the vase, they will dry out, and you'll be able to keep them forever. It's like a potpourri. So that's what I love about roses. Roses dry out, and then you're able to actually keep them as potpourri. So you really get your money's worth. You turn something live into something, you know, kind of dried in a sense. So anyway, I purchased these. Yes, yellow. I was feeling yellow for the beauty room. It's particularly for my desk because my desk is so kind of blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and I wanted some life. So I bought the beautiful yellow roses. And they're loving because there's a lot of light that comes in this room. And I just want to show you, I actually have this plant from the bedroom in here. And I'll tell you why. So the maintenance guy, he, this is what he says. He is so clumsy. Or usually, you know, when you want to, let me just go back. When you want to have, when the maintenance needs to come and you need them to do something, what you really want is them not to mess up your stuff or have to get around things just to get to what they need to fix. So in making it easy for him, I took the plant away from this, the, the other bedroom, my main bedroom window. And I also took the snake plant as well. What's just so funny is I think this plant would be actually for the winter happier in this room. The thing with my bedroom is I get warm at night, so I leave that that uh, screen door open, not the screen door, but the other door, and it kind of gets cold and it affects the plants. I think the plant likes it here more, so we may consider keeping these and just buying new plants for the bedroom. But you saw those flowers, so I also bought flowers if the other roses, I call them the other roses, the more colorful roses, and I basically just took a nice little vase that I actually, it's a actually, um, it's an actually, I forgot what you call these, but they're um, carafes that you hold water or juice in, and that's what I had around the house. So definitely don't think you have to run out and get vases. You probably have containers already, and these are a little bit of a multi-color, so some pink, some lighter pink, dark pink, red, and orange, and I love them. Another thing, let's talk about scents. I must have scents in my house. This company, I love this sister's company. Let me see, did she put it on here? Yes. I actually ordered from her website, and I ordered four of the same ones. I like different scents for different seasons. So in the fall, winter, I like this one right here. It's called Hazelnut coffee break. I don't even drink coffee, but I love the smell of this. And it makes me feel like it's time to get up in the morning. And what I love about her, her, her candles, and I've shared this company with you before. That's the name. If you look up Revene Natural Spy Gifts or Revene, just go Google it. You will actually find her website and you can order her 100% natural soy candles. This one with coconut oil and it's hazelnut coffee break. And it is so wintry. It is so perfect for sacred hibernation. That's the time that you're in right now. I bought four of the same. There's another one called, this is called hazelnut coffee break. The other one is called tobacco tonka. I love that one as well for winter. And then when I, there's a rose one she makes, and I love those for the summer. So scents and flowers, and these flowers actually, when you smell the bouquet, they say stop and smell the flowers, they smell amazing. This is a sister's, a black owned company, and I highly, let's see if it, if it will focus on it. Let's see. Let's, yeah, there we go. Ravone. Natural Spa Gifts. It's Revone, R-E-V-O-N-N-A-E. -N -N I really want you, I talk about these so much that I really want you to have them. And what I do is since I bought four of them, I ordered four, so they were delivered to me, I just have a space to store my candles and I just store them here. I store my essential oils, my candles, my water, because I in this diffuser I'm having peppermint essential oil burning at this time. It's funny, too, about these plants. I mean, this room always felt good, but once I put the plants in, I felt like I could even breathe in a different way here because, you know, these plants are actually air purifiers. The reason why I took the plants out is because he is putting in those brackets that you actually have to drill for my curtains that I want to put up properly. And so he has to come back and finish, and hopefully he'll do that today. 
Well, he'll finish them up, and then this way I can actually have the curtains. But you know, with something he asked me, he said, are you eventually going to take down the blinds? Let me open the, cut on the light, ladies. Are you going to eventually take down the blinds? And I didn't know I could. I wanted to, but I didn't know I could. He said, oh, yeah, people do it all the time, as long as you just have them put back up before you leave. So let me tell you what I really want. I love that because I don't love these blinds. Like, I don't love these. Like, this is not what I'm in love with. So since he can take it down, not this trip. This trip, I'll let him just put the curtains up. But since they can take them down, I'm actually going to take them down. What I love is I had this in my old apartment. It is like the uh, kind of like the bamboo, almost like a straw-like. I don't know what other name to describe those candles, but I think you'll know. I've had them and you just roll up, not the candles, I'm sorry, the, the uh, curtains or uh, shades. But they're the, the natural bamboo-ish like straw-like fabric and Home Depot used to sell them, but I know I've seen them online. I would rather have those and they're in a more of a natural or more of a natural color. You've seen them, y'all. This is like the natural straw bamboo-ish. I would rather have those than these. This thing is a nuisance. Let me show you how much. This thing is such a nuisance. This is the actual part that you put up here and you move it. You see it's broken. It breaks every time. It's just not convenient, and it's just not warm, this kind of shade or, or blind. So I'm going to actually remove the blinds, and then I'm going to put Roman shades. Are they Roman? They are, yeah, are they Roman shades? Thank you. But they, have the, uh, but they have the bamboo. I had them in my last apartment, and they're the brown, earthy color, and they're like a straw, and they're just beautiful, and I love them. And they have that, so you get that natural light, but you still get the shade. Because he was like, do you want to take them off now? I was like, no, because these curtains don't protect. Although, maybe now, but during the day, most people can't see in here. It's where these are positioned. You really can't see inside. That's why I have the window so wide open. But Roman shades, if that's what they're called, I know it's more of the, ban I say bamboo, but it's not. But it's a straw type of shade. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm going to get. I've had them before, so I'm gonna have those. They'll bring in that nature and brown, not these obtrus obtrusive ones. But anyway, for now, getting the curtain up. If you like what you see, don't forget to thumbs up. Very important for us to get more people to watch this video. Another thing is, so remember, I'm kind of digging those two plants in there and not having them here. There's a lot of space, a lot of sunlight that comes in, but this one won't have to. You see my baby, I'm holding on with my baby. I love her so much. She can make it to the spring. I can then feed her with some, you know, plant food. And then uh, maybe even, I'm not gonna repot her, but I think when Warren repotted her, that wasn't necessary. It would have been best to keep her in the same pot, but also she's acclimating to the colder room. You see, I put her here, I call her her. So I'm gonna see if she makes it through the winter. If not, get another plant like it and start over in a new place. She's the only one not doing too well, but she's gonna get better. Like this one is like, hey, I'm here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm perfect, I, I don't need a lot. It's the pathos, it's different kinds of pathos and she's one of them. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy new plants for this spot and see how that works. New plants for the new space. I think that it will be good. Yes, you love, yes, plants and flowers in the home. That is everything. In, and I think that's a little neglected in, our, in a lot of the home decor because they say, oh, I don't have time, or they get those fake, uh, what do you call those, to topiary? Ooh, if you have an offense, I, I know you might love them. I just don't like topiary. I don't like the way they look. I don't like anything about them. So for me, and then at least if, you, you know, if you're doing the fresh or it's in your uh, your landscaping, that could be kind of cool, but for me, the topiary just does not get me. Where did you get the cotton blossoms? I actually bought them at the Raleigh Flea Market from an actual farmer last winter. It was actually, he comes out around Christmas time. And if I, if I was, if I needed more too, I would definitely go back. So I got it at the Raleigh, North Carolina Farmer's Market in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it was during Christmas, that's when he comes out. But don't forget also, y'all, that warming of the home, that's these candles with the scent. This scent is absolutely powerful, and you will absolutely love it. So, yeah, I do have the cotton in the corner. I forgot that I have the cotton here as well, which is also bringing life to the space. 
So anyway, again, I moved all the stuff because homeboy knocked down that painting. He knocked down that. He knocked that down. So I was like, let me get stuff. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm a little clumsy. I was like, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, another thing since, remember, it's the aroma lamp or the, the essential oil diffusers. Oh, my God. Right now, I got peptin and essential oil in it because that's what I have. I got to have the smell. I have to have the smell so much. I showed you this before when we were about flowers and candles. Now, if I could and I'm, I would like to, I would love to put candles actually. And I, yeah, well, candles for sure. But I, let me show you the candles first. So in these, I do the candle warmer. I bought this one from at home stores and it was $10, $9.99. And you put the wax from your candles that when you burn your candles down to the bottom and it has all that wax on the side, you could actually take that wax and put it in the warmer. What I noticed too is that you do have to change them periodically. The smell does dissipate until you, I just scrape it all out and then put, I got so much extra candle stuff and I put it in and I love it. Yes, okay, Walmart too. Thank you for letting me know. Walmart has it as well. This was a discovery for me, sis. I never heard of them until I saw Wani's house and she was talking about how to keep the candle wax and put them in the warmers. I was like, candle warmers for the, that That really, you get all your money's worth out of the candles by Better Home and Garden. Okay, thank you, darling, unique and beautiful. I appreciate that so much. So yeah, it gets warm, it will warm it, and it and it also it acts as a nightlight, which I love. So it's a great nightlight, and I use all my extra candle stuff. You can buy the candle melts, which are like these squares, and you can put them in 100% soy. This is what I tell you. I used to buy candles at the Dollar Tree. I don't highly toxic, and you can tell because when they burn, their walls and the ceiling start to be black when it's not 100% soy. So I love the idea of only burning soy candles. That's a big one. And then flowers also are bringing a fragrance to the air. It's vibing up the spot, and it instantly feminizes a spot that may seem a little too max, max, um, masculine. Yeah, so you want to definitely do that. So I'll show you my other warmer because they're in both bathrooms. I like the ones that plug in. There's actual candle warmers that have, I guess, a tea light on the bottom. I don't want a candle to hit, hit the I just want something that plugs in and lasts. But these I will burn. You'll even feel the warmth around the candle. It warms up a room literally temperature-wise as well. So waiting for him to come so we can get those curtains up and then... You know, not now, but maybe in a when it goes to the spring, I'll definitely think about uh, taking off the old blinds in all of the rooms and putting in those Roman shades, as my sister said, and putting those in. So flowers here as well. And then remember, y'all, I showed you the other kind of warmers. Now, that's what I want to see more of in you, your houses. I want to see more, more fresh flowers because I don't find that. On, on internet, especially amongst some of the black, you know, the sisters that's doing it. They all get fake flowers from Dollar Tree. Don't worry, I did it too. And then I woke up one day and said, I'm not a fake, fake flower girl. And I know people say, oh, it's so expensive, but you can get flowers clothes on deals. Kroger's has flowers on sale. So I, I remember getting some. I just circulate the money. I don't say spend because spend means to exhaust. I say circulate, so if you put it out there, it comes back. So I just circulate the money for the $8.99, $9.99, $10, and especially roses where I could actually save the roses. I forgot to show you the other ones upstairs. These are my roses from previous rose buying. They are perfect for potpourri, and they're beautiful. And let me show you, and I actually have some upstairs. Before we go back to see those, this is my other candle burner. So a uh, warmer. This the one thing about this one is that, and what I like better about the other one, and I'll show you in the dark. I like the white one. This is not white, as you can see. I like the white one because it gives more light in the room. This is kind of like an off beigey type. But again, it was ten dollars. It plugs in, and here it is on and off. And there's the candle in there, and it's it smells amazing. So the Pope, yeah. So the the, the uh, flowers, especially the roses. You can actually keep over and over again. So in here, because I, I was thinking, like, well, what is my scent in here? If I got a scent, I got a scent in the two bathrooms. I got a scent in my bedroom. The flowers in the scent, or the, the, I got the aroma lamp in the uh, second bedroom. 
what about the living room? I was like, wait a second, do I need to burn a candle down here? Which I'm considering doing that anyway, but y'all know me, and you see I'm burning my churai, my Senegalese incense, down here, so that gives me a scent. And that stuff kind of stays in the house after a while, and it's really nice. So, so yeah, so this is, I'm gonna turn on some lights. It's actually starting to get evening and another cold day, but it was so, ladies, it was so sunny. Oh, I wanna show you something else I did. It was so sunny and bright that I got to sit outside. And when I sit outside, I don't feel cold at all. So I got to sit in the direct sun right outside there. So another thing too, and I'll show you a few things. I realized that this light here was a three-way light. So I, what I did was, cause I was wondering why when I hit this switch, that only that comes on and not this. And I don't think the switch works with three, three-way lights. But since I realized it was a three-way light, I just went to the Dollar Tree and I got a three-way light bulb. So you can have that, that level, that level, or that level. Like I love that. I love that. So I love the three-way light. So I actually got the right light bulb. So if you have a three-way light lamp, make sure you have the light bulb. So you can have, you know, you set the mood for what you want. Let's put it at the highest just for now. So, and you can see that that's like a, a big difference. Remember too now, I have to run, I have to run an extension cord because I want the lamp, the salt lamp, to be in this corner where there's no light. And the reason why it has to have extension cord is because my modem and then my Wi-Fi box are both taking the only two plugs. Like I was thinking like, y'all for real, y'all had no more plugs over here. So there's plugs in every corner, but I, you know, some houses, you know, they have plugs everywhere. This one doesn't. So I'll run an extension cord so that I can have light there. I believe all corners should be lit. Okay, so you know I'm waiting on my two nightstands from uh, the, the, the Jungle Law website, Justina Blakeney. But I thought, in the meantime, I got to love what I got, right? So remember these, these are handmade, rounded uh, table, uh, what do you call, not napkins, uh, cloth, tablecloths. Handmade, gorgeous, all the African detail, painted, beautiful. Instead of that orange wasn't working. First of all, it was clear that it was an outdoor, inexpensive, I say cheap table. And I was like, no, I gotta make this beautiful while I'm while I'm experiencing this, it's got to be beautiful. So I remember that I had these on the couch, if you remember. I said, you know what? The green one would look so pretty here, and it does. Everything on top of it looks pretty. Even it laying on the floor in the whole way. I just think that is gorgeous. And this basket, which is so pretty, it's that dipped, kind of the painting on the bottom white. It's such a beauty, pretty uh, basket. I really wanted to use this as a place to have my throws. So rather than this be on the table on the side, and I'll show you that in a second, I said, I want this to be available to be a throw because it does get cold in the room and I don't always want to turn on the heat. So I, you know, y'all love this fabric here. So now I folded this as the throw, and then the rest is my instruments. When I used to do womb circles, we used to all have our instruments playing, the sisters. So I wanna bring those back. And also in that basket is some hand fans for the menopausal ladies that come by and they might need a fan, especially when it gets hot. Hand, handheld fans, I have those. And then some curtains that I'm gonna put up here. But again, I'm gonna get those Roman blinds, those other kind, get rid of these, and uh, and then have the blinds and the curtains, and I think that'd be nice. So what I did, because I even, at least that table's round, I actually, I like this table, but I don't know. It's fine, but you know what? Now I love it. So I took my other tablecloth, the red one, hand-painted, same place, and I put this on top, and I just feel like everything just seems more grounded. Like, that looks more neat, and it goes with the Afro-Bohemian vibe so i'm really loving it and the light too changing a light bulb we talk about lighting candles and flowers changing the bulb to a bulb that actually goes where it's supposed to go like that third level of the three-way is such it's so much more light in here that i can't i'm looking forward to the lights the, the, the natural light going down the sun going down because i can feel and see how much light this is given now 
So I just wanted to kind of, I'm going to say relatively easy ways to vibe up your space. So yeah, I'm going to call it relatively easy ways to vibe your space up. And I say relatively because what if you don't have plants or right now can't afford it, but your local grocery store or supermarket is having plants they discounted it to 3 or $4 for roses. You'll get, see it all the time, or carnations, or even tulips. That could be the, a way that brings in that life and makes the house look like, you know, you like, what is, what is Sharon, she's so, proud, she's so proud to say, like you're doing the most, but you ain't did that much. I mean, in a sense, she's right. It looks so like, oh my God, right? So put together, and so just, it vibes up the place, and it's just flowers. I think the elements of life in a space is really a missing element in most of our spaces. Like, I really have to say, we must bring life into our space. And I think that lighting, whether it's candle lighting, whether it's putting the three-way the three -way bulb in the three-way uh, lamp, I mean, it makes a big difference. Or it's, it's uh, let's turn this around. Excuse me, ladies. Or it's not so much loving the table, but loving the, the tablecloth that you do have and using the tablecloth or bringing out that basket that's really beautiful. And my intention is uh, Sister Maya Wallace is actually making me or made me a Ankara, an African fabric throw. So I'm going to fold the throws and next to each other because I think we should have multiple throws here, particularly for the winter time. It's just so cozy with your tea, having your throw over you. And so I think the baskets always work. And, and then again, like I said, pulling out those tablecloths that you're in. This is what I'm starting to think and see. So you got all these beautiful stuff, things, but they're packed away. Why, when they need to be utilized off, and, and to cover something that you ain't feeling right now, that's why I, I used it. And so I'm very glad. Again, I was thinking about this idea, and I'll turn this around. I was thinking about this idea of plants. Oh my God. And how all these, I'm sorry, y'all, please forgive my hand. Okay. And how all these places, all these um, videos, they are, they are so helpful. Don't even get me wrong. They are so helpful about how to grow it best growing season, don't plant it, don't feed it, don't repot it, give it water, don't give it water. In the end, you will learn your plants. I promise that I have no special remedies and plants grow in my space. And my remedy is to give it a lot of love, welcome it in the morning, open up the shades for it, give it sun, say good morning, I love you, say good night at night, and really just love it and give it attention and you will find your plants will grow. So do not be intimidated. And y'all know this is the beautiful quilt by Linda G's Loving Home. And I actually love this quilt. And I'm so glad that now I have different places to film. So I can film here and there's something behind. I can feel here. And you see my girl is up there and in the background of the mud cloth. So um, as, a, as a vlogger, and even you as somebody sitting, I can film here. And then we got what, my sister over there. Right, I can film here, and she's you see another angle of her, plus you see the peacock chair. And for me, I can actually sit. Well, see, this is what's going on here. So I have to move this plant when I when I want to go outside. <laughs> so the plant is kind of well, you can't see it. Hold on. The plant is right here, but I, all I wanted to say was, and hold on one sec so we can see. I can also film in the peacock chair, because like I said, I'm the only one, and somebody my size maybe, that can fit in the peacock chair. So this is a lovely place to also film video. So I just really wanted to share, because I know you're watching these videos, and I know that one of you will go to the store today, <laughs> and you will get some flowers, and they will be perfectly on sale because you're getting it and you'll know that your ancestors sent you to get the flowers. Like right now, y'all, I've circulated so much money on my decor and all kinds of stuff that now it's time to pull back, you know, month, end of the month, beginning of the month coming. You know what that means? It means rent. That means all that good stuff. So I, excuse me, I can't run out and go get even an accent rug. I did all that. Now, if I can get some flowers for $10, 
then that's what I'm gonna get. And all the other stuff I ordered already. The uh, I ordered the candles last week, and so they came today, and I'm so happy. <sighs> Loving it, life. So yeah. Anyway, it doesn't look like the maintenance guy gonna put the curtains up today, but that is okay. I don't have a problem with it. Whenever it happens, it happens, and I'm excited. So. I just wanted to share that. Again, for the coffee table setup, I'll come back tomorrow morning and finish part two. Part one is actually on the other channel. I thought I was on this channel, y'all, but I wasn't. And so please forgive me for that. And let's see who's on. Let's see who we have. So we have quite a few people. Okay. Hey, Belinda. Yay, glad you're back. Yes, and Belinda look like the, the, uh, the webs. No, let me move my hand. Okay, how do I do this? And I'm not in your way. Here we go. It looks like the website is working, the Wi-Fi. So, yeah, glad you're black. Thank you. Hey, Belinda, please continue. Hey, Belinda, I love flowers also. Yes, Belinda. Hey, Unique Beautiful 85, greetings to you. Yes, Uniquely uniquely Beautiful 85, peace and blessings. Where did you get the cotton? So, yeah, I answered that. Roman says, thank you for that name. Uniquely Beautiful says, I love live plants and flowers in my home. Thank you for all of your energy and videos. Thank you. Where did you get the cotton blossoms? Good. So, you did hear that. I got mine from an, a, a flea market in Raleigh from a farmer. That's amazing. Fine. Matter of fact, if I go to Raleigh right about now, would it be the time that he comes out? I'll film it just to show you because he has this uh, wreath. Oh, my God, that is so gorgeous. Like, I have a wreath there. I'll show you, but my wreath is um, a treated. It's a treated wreath Reef, because I got it from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. No, but not the blossoms. All the blossoms I got from the, the farmer, so they're totally real. I have those as well. Walmart has a wax named Tranquil. Oh, I got you. The only thing about the waxes in Walmart that I'm concerned about is are they 100% soy candle? Because if you see soy blend, ladies, that's not 100% soy. So make sure if you're really looking for 100% soy. We'll do a video tomorrow about the importance of non-toxic uh, candles and other things in your home. Uh, Jacqueline, hey, Miss Jackie, hi to you, Queen. A uh, Uniquely Beautiful says, I grew up with my grandmother cutting gardenias. Oh, and roses from her garden. Yes, you know, that one of the houses I used to live in, I was renting. I love that peacock chair. Thank you, Miss Jackie. I was renting. I had fresh roses that grew outside, and there, the smell of absolutely fresh roses. Is there nothing like it? There's nothing like it. So um, I don't have a rose bush, but I'm definitely going to grow flowers uh, in the outdoor patio for sure. Motown which says I have even I even have plants in my store and dance studio. They are a must. Yes, ma'am. Good for you. Yes. Hey Lashandra. Uh hello Queen. I'm loving the wall hanging. Thank you. You look so uh pretty in your home, Queen. Thank you. I know I'll start laughing. I said I think I am truly matching my home. Like if you came in, if you saw me, this is where you think I would live. You know, I remember a long time ago. <laughs> that I had, uh, you know, I, I always looked Afrocentric. And I remember I had met somebody, or he had seen me for a good while, and then I guess one day I invited him to my house. It was a neighbor. And he said, and my house was bare, had like nothing on the walls. I think I had one plant, which was a Congo plant. It was a plant that I could not kill. That's why I had it. And he said, you know what, when I saw you all these years, I used to think, oh, I bet her place got like African art, all these colors, lots of plants. And that's when I really thought about, well, who am I? He's right that I know looks can be deceiving, but no, I really always wanted that. He's right. I wanted it, but I didn't really know how to manifest it. But one thing I did have, and I don't know if he, if I had at the time he came by, or this is many years, many, many years ago. Um, one thing I did have was flowers. I didn't have a lot of furniture. I didn't have a lot of, uh, and the furniture I did have was hand-me-downs. And I, my house was always neat and clean. I was very much into the idea of feng shui and allowing space and allowing areas to be certain areas always spotless and clean to bring in more. I was into my corners of feng shui. I could talk about, I can do a video on the feng shui if you all are interested in that. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. From my perspective, it's, it's actually feng shui, real feng shui, but it was interpreted by me and I can definitely do that for you. But Flowers were something that I knew because I was already going to the farmer's market every Saturday. As quiet as it's kept, I, at first I didn't even go to the farmer's market to get food. I only went to get flowers. And then it was like, wait, what am I doing? I became a raw, When I became a raw foodist at that time, I'm not 100% raw anymore, but 
I started buying food, <laughs> but the flowers were a must. Like my space, the one, the thing that I need now is a water fountain feature. I want a water, and I had that in my one of my apartments. And that, I feel like the plants grow better. They love it. The flowers love it. And also flowers, but flowers in every room, oh, that's a big one for me. Always flowers in every room. That is a manifestation stator, if you will. It helps you to manifest your desires faster. I teach courses on using a home to help you manifest your desires faster. People underestimate flowers. And I, I don't want to say black folks, because every time I was going to buy flowers, I didn't see a lot of us buying as many. And people were like, oh, you, there she go with her flowers. Like, that's a thing. That's a thing for me. It uplifts me. It makes me feel good. It is money well spent. I never I never say, oh, dang. <laughs> I shouldn't have spent that last $10 on the flowers. Like, I never say that, you know. So definitely consider bringing flowers into your space. Uh, Tanisha, yes, I would like to see a video. Okay, thank you. I will definitely do it. I want to really understand feng shui. Okay, good. You know what? I would love to. I grew up like this feng shui. Hey, Miss Burley, you want to? I would love to help you. Okay. Uh, you know what? And Miss Burley, you know what? That's something that we did not specifically talk about in our last in the class that I taught how to create a sacred space. So I will do it on this channel. I would love to. I, I, I can tell you what every corner, you walk in the door with the, the that corner, that corner, this one, that one, what it promotes, why, I will love to do it with you. It'll be a lot of fun. The willow plants remind me of the cotton. That's true. That's a, that's a very good point. You're absolutely right. So yeah. So yeah, ladies, please bring in the flowers. Of course, wait, bring in plants. And it doesn't have to be like I was thinking to myself. I was like, like I said, I got to move that plant back over there, and I'll do that this evening. I was thinking to myself that I love plants, and I want lots of plants, but I need the sun too. So I don't want so many plants that it's going to take up the sun from my home or my space. And it's funny, but that's just how I think now. But I do love a lot, a lot of plants, and that's going to go back. And I even counted the plants here. That's one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. So that's good. I got eight plants in one room. And I think that's pretty good. I'll probably add a few more that I'm going to have here, but you know, that's good. And uh, so plants, important, flowers, important. And if you're into it or you're curious about real cotton, like cotton that really grew in the, in the cotton fields and the beauty of that, uh, if you, especially if you're in the South, a lot of local farmers around Christmas time, like I said, sell it. But you know what? You could actually have it sent to you. I'm sorry, I gotta remember this. It's a company, black owned, three generations of, of, of cotton farmers, and they're very proud of it. And the brother's name is Julius Tillery. I remember his name now. And his company is called Black, B-L-A-C-K, Cotton. Black Cotton. Uh, they're out of North Carolina, and they will, I believe that they ship the cotton, uh, the different bouquets and all that stuff to you. So try them out. Yes, we want to hear more on the on that look. I, I, I took a navy dish and put in the left hand corner of my room with three new with three new pennies under it and found eighty dollars. Come on, Queen. So she talking. So yeah, so yeah, we'll we'll do the feng shui. We'll we'll do a little feng shui series and we'll do like a three part series and we'll start in December, which is what, the day after tomorrow? Yeah. So we'll do our December series will be feng shui. We'll do feng shui, and it'll be fun, and it's exciting, and I like it. I don't follow the same rules, but it'll be curious to see now what's in each of my corners, and are they promoting love, money, travel, or success? Because that's your four corners, and then your middle one is family and health. And it's the idea of even having, like, one thing I know, I, I, that's why I brought in, in a sense, the, the uh, what do you call these, the instruments, it kind of is almost like something a child would play. I picture that if a woman came with children, they would be attracted to this basket and would want to shake those all day. And also the dolls. So, yeah, I do have the elements. So now I don't stick to the elements as much as they have to be in the corner that is designated for it. I bring in all the elements of the things that feng shui needs. And you'll understand more when I talk. But anyway, one of the elements that you would want to have, and that would be in the center when you walk into your room, not the right corner, not the left, but the center. So in this case, it would be over here. This is where you would keep things, children's paintings or children's artwork or dolls even, because that element has to be there. 
So then there's the love corner, and then there's the money corner, and then there's the travel corner, and then there's the success corner. And then there's the in the begin in the middle there's the home the home or health family and health corner. So the idea of family pick that's why I say it's still very we, Africans been doing it already. The idea of family you got your family pictures. The idea of child play is the instruments and dolls in your room. The idea of money and abundance is plants that are alive in that corner. <laughs> Romance is the idea of things in pairs, the two cheers, right? The, the the man and woman statues, right? All those, those are two pairs, statues there, and then two male, female there. So that whole idea is in here. So I just take feng shui. I don't stay with the kind of stringent, I say, kind of, you know, strict, straight, hard rules. And a lot of stuff is interesting. It really is uh, relative to uh, an Asian culture. And I'll tell you this, and I'll just give you an example. So the number, there's a number in feng shui that the Chinese way of saying the number, it makes it a bad luck number because it sounds like a, a, a word in Chinese that's bad. But in actuality, for us, it wouldn't be bad. Also, it says the eight is, a, is in Chinese, the name for eight is a word that means, that means something good. So therefore, it's good luck. So sometimes we have to adapt the culture into your own. You understand? Because sometimes it's not, it, it, it's, it goes more with where they are. But the basic tenets of feng shui is if you, you wouldn't build your house on a rocky foundation. You wouldn't build your house on a hill. If you wanted to grow plants, you would build them in the sun, not in the shade. Or you would plant them in the sun, the seeds not in the shade. It's saying that there's elements and you have to work with nature and not against it. So feng shui really starts outside. It really is about how you build your house, what kind of life you want to live. And if you want to grow or you want to have children or whatever it is, you might want to face the sun. If you like more of a life that you want to be in the shade, then you know what I'm saying? So it really is about nature and how to build when, according to nature. So I took those. For years, I was following so strict. It was almost a little uh, restrictive having to say, oh, no, that's the money corner. But I got the so-and-so in the money corner, and I got the so-and-so in the love corner, and I don't know about the travel corner. <laughs> so it was, kind of, it was a little limiting for me. But once I started using the same elements of cleaning your clutter, having clean corners, all those things, I'm going to share all of it with you. I know I'm sharing a lot, but I can share a lot, 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 lot more. Um, and I started just really bringing in, no, it's kind of in the back of my mind that these elements are in here, like the element of travel or the element. Sometimes I have a room that is focused on this is my travel, this is my so-and-so. But I will admit, I have not designated a travel corner in a long time, and I haven't really traveled abroad in a long time. And when I did do the feng shui, and I did the travel books that I even borrowed from the library, and I would put them in my travel corner, I did travel a lot. So let's do it together. I would love it because I don't have a designated travel corner, and that's something that I really want to do more of. So, yeah, I would love to see you show you, talk to you about it. It's going to be fun. All right, ladies, I want to thank you so much for seeing my changes and my flowers that now I can enjoy in almost every room. And I'm very excited about the front room, y'all. I'm very excited about getting that front room in order. So I forgot the guy. I saw him today. There's a guy in a, in a leasing office, and there's a woman. And Luke is the guy's name. But he too, uh, he, <laughs> he's always spaz. He's so spaz. He's a spaz, as we used to say in California. He was like, what? <laughs> he always like hype. But then there's the woman, Sarah. And she always like, oh, she, you know, women are better at multitasking than men. Men are just not that good at it. I'm not saying there's not exceptions to the rule, rules, but women are great at it. And she's always like, oh, yeah, she puts things in order. Because what I want to do is put the order in to have the, the front room, just that one wall accent, the blue wall, because I'm really staying with that blue theme in there. 
But I saw him today, and the door was locked, and I went in, and I said, oh, do you close for lunchtime? No, no, I was going out for a while. I said, okay, you want me to come back? He was like, uh, he was like, no, I can help you now. I said, yeah, because I, you, you know, you gave me a set of notes, and I have an email, so I have a package. And so he was a spaz. So I was like, where's Sarah? In my mind, I was like, where is, where's the woman? Where's the woman of the dang leasing office? You know, like, where's, is the, I like when the, when the old, the salesman back in the day would come to your door, and they would ask, is the woman of the house home? Because he knew that she made all the decisions. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all might have forgotten that. Is the woman of the house home? We want to talk to the woman of the house because we're trying to sell a vacuum cleaner. Man, move away. Move away, man. So anyway, I'm waiting. I'm not. When Luke comes, he's too spazzed. He's too spazzed out. So I'm going to get Sarah. I'm going to say, Sarah, look, what, I want to get the maintenance guy to come. And how do I, do I bring my own paint? Do you already have colors? Ooh, do I make an appointment? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the procedure? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I know some of you ain't feeling that. Like, no, it's sexist. No, it's real. There's A you know, woman's mind is a lot different, and you need to know. And it would make sense since you got a womb attached to you, and even if you don't have one anymore, you might have been born with one, and it's still there even if you had it removed. So there's a way that you think in a different way than a man, and you should be no shame about it. We don't want to get so feminist that we don't we we defeminize our own selves and the power in that. Women do things differently, think differently, and move about differently. And when a man has that, we all say, "Wow, he's in touch with his the feminine side because there is a such thing." So anyway, if you want to hear it or not, you just did. <laughs> I love it. You ain't laughing nothing. I love it. It's okay. Maybe you're going, maybe you're traveling, sleeping. Anyway, I still love you. Still love you. Thank you so much for watching. For those that will watch it on the replay, if you like it, thumbs it up while you're watching it. Subscribe, comment, and share. And understand the power of being a woman. There's a lot of power in being a woman, and you should really revel in it and embrace it. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget this Saturday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will do a virtual house warming live. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon said we women truly are. Thank you in charge. And when we relinquish that divine control, we suffer. Love you back. Sharon, I love you. Sharon said I ain't gonna leave you out there, girl. I ain't gonna leave you out there. Sharon, you know what? I think that our society sometimes too, we're so not, we're so afraid of the idea of male and female and that there's roles and that the roles are not, not I'm not talking about self-imposed or man-made roles. I'm talking about the natural inclination that a lot of women truly have to make things happen. Do you know it was a man, it was Warren, who told me that he had read an article that there was proven that women are better at multitasking than men. And I noticed that everywhere. I remember when I used to go to this salon, oh my God, this salon, uh, this nail salon in Oakland. And I, Lawrence, if you're watching, I, I'm sorry, but I couldn't, Lawrence was the nicest guy ever. Like he was so sweet. But he couldn't multitask for ish. He couldn't answer the phone, talk to you, and make an appointment at the same time. But the women could. They was making an appointment on the phone, got back to you, remembered to say thank you, gave you the greetings, told you when to come back, loved your dress, complimented you on your hair. To women. <laughs> if you forget... We are the bomb. And and it was him and I said, wow, because I said that. I said, oh, my God, Lawrence was there. And I, they called me and told me I came in for an appointment and an appointment didn't get made. And every time Lawrence is there, my appointment don't get made. And he was like, well, did you know that there was an article? Because Warren was always very scientific. Did you know there was an article that stated that women are better multitaskers than men? Don't you think if you had a womb and a baby and you got to hold the baby on your hip, Stir the grits, wait now, fry the bacon and the eggs, make sure the toast is going off, and have it all on the table with the phone crotched to your ear <laughs> at the same time. Ain't that a woman? In the words of Sojourner Truth, ain't I a woman? Love you, ladies. Have a beautiful night, and I'll see you in the next video. Sharon says, sing with me. Yes, I can bring home the bacon. That's right. Fry it up in a pan and never, never, never let you forget you a man. And don't forget that part. And in the end, had to perform. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, girl. This must be for the grown and the sexy. The rest of y'all, either you're traveling, you working, or you ain't you ain't feeling it. But either way, listen again and you might. Love you, ladies. Thank you so much, darling. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, thank you, queen. Peace and blessings.